Apathetic, disengaged, indifferent, disenchanted, noisy, careless, stupid. In light of the dramatic decline in voter turnout in the past decade, these were some of the words used by politicians and researchers to point fingers at young people. Some go as far as to hold them culpable for challenging democracy as they drop in numbers in the ballot box. So is today's youth undemocratic? My thesis questions whether young people are turning away from democracy in Western societies and thus, very surprisingly, throwing away the political control to their own future. In the wake of the 2016 Brexit referendum, millennials' apathy towards their own future was shocking. My generation, which will most likely endure the implications, had the lowest turnout in the EU vote. But wait, that doesn't quite add up. Younger generations are better educated and better informed than previous cohorts, so it's not that they can't discern the political repercussions of non-participation and hence non-representation. But what if we are reducing democracy down to just elections and hence failing to see the contemporary modes of youth engagement? Using survey data across 35 advanced democracies, I find that young people are disengaging only from the traditional processes of voting and aligning with the political party because of the poor performance of their governments, yet their endorsement of key democratic principles such as uh, freedom and also um, tolerance remains stable. They are high cognitive resource holders, people who have high education and are more critical of blunt, elite-directed and seemingly inefficient modes of participation. They're go-getters and now-doers, more vocal on the streets and on the network about single issues which directly affect their lives, such as climate crisis, same-sex marriage and more recently, the Black Lives Matter movement. My research unveils a disturbing fact Young people are being negatively stereotyped, held culpable for undermining democracy by not voting. It is unfair, even dangerous to the health of democracy, to criticise an already underrepresented group for participating differently. And I hope my research encourages us to celebrate this renaissance in participation rather than push the youth towards a potential disbelief in the inclusiveness of the democratic system.